If you need to find the inverse of a matrix, oh boy, I hit a button. Uh, you need to use this map. It's a, if it's a two by two, that is. It always works like this. Uh, let's give our red matrix the name A. <clears throat> if you're asked to, uh, if you're asked to find the at the inverse of a matrix, it's found by doing this stuff in blue. Okay, and now the vertical bars mean, uh, around the A mean it's the determinant of A. So if you need help with that, the determinant's always found by taking the top left number and cross multiplying it to give you negative 8. And then you subtract that by what happens when you cross multiply these guys. 0 times 7 gives you 0. So our determinant's negative 8. So we're going to multiply the matrix by 1 over negative 8. Now what goes on in here, uh, this says A sub 2, 2. That means the second row and the second column. The second row of this matrix and the second column of this matrix link up at the number 2. So that's the number 2 that we got to stick in here. And this one says A11. That means row 1, column 1. Row 1 is right here. Column 1 is right here. So that's where they meet up, is at negative 4. So just following what the formulas, what, what, the, what the numbers say. This says 1, 2. That's row 1, column 2. So that number doesn't change positions, but it just does change signs. So that's a negative 7. And then this number over here is a negative 0, but that's not real. So it's just 0. Okay, so uh, we've done what the map says. <clears throat> we put all the numbers in their corresponding places. We This is uh, 1 over uh, the determinant of A, 1 over negative 8 then. And so to finish out finding your inverse, you just have to multiply negative 1 over 8 to everything. Uh, so it's going to give you 2 over, uh, sorry, negative 2 over 8, because negative times a positive is a negative. That's 7 over 8, that's 4 over 8, and that's 0 here. <clears throat> that's your inverse. That's the final answer. The way you want to check is by taking that inverse. Um, if that matrix really is the inverse, you should be able, that's a 4, by the way. You should be able to multiply uh, your inverse matrix to your original matrix and get 1. So when we do that, uh, it's going to be a 2x2 two two matrix for our answer matrix. And so the first one is found by taking row 1, column 1. Negative 4 times negative 2 over 8 is 1. 7 times 0 is 0. So 1 plus 0 gives us 1. Uh, and then so this is row 1, column 2. Row 1, column 2. So negative 4 times 7 over 8 gives us negative 28 over 8. Need to add to that 7 times 4. That's 28 over 8. So that gives us 0 here. And then likewise, you, you know, you go through your multiplication. 0 times this is 0. 2 times that 0 is 0. <coughs> and then 0 times 7 or 8, that's 0. 2 times 4 over 8, that is 1. So the black matrix is the inverse because when we multiplied it to our original matrix, it gave us the identity. So this is it. Uh, whatever we had over here.